Hello everyone and welcome to my video. Today's video is going to be a review and demonstration of the features and different uses of the Kuat NV20 bike rack. I purchased this bike rack at eTrailers.com. I've owned this bike rack for over a year now and I thought it was the right time to make a review and demonstration of the different ways that I personally use it. I'm not going to bore you with all the specs regarding this bike rack. It's very easy to go on the company's website and look for such things as price, dimensions, weight, and the capabilities. From my understanding, it should fit any bike on the market. So to begin with, I'm just showing you how to place the bike rack on your trailer hitch. It slides in very easily. Here's the hitch key that it comes with that you're going to use to lock the bike rack onto your trailer hitch so it doesn't get stolen. Right here you can see I'm actually lifting up the bike rack and rotating this assembly right here. What this does is they call this their anti-rattle mechanism and all it does is just clamp down the bike rack to your trailer hitch and it doesn't allow it to move from side to side improving stabilization. As you can see it's very easy to open up the bike rack. As you can see now I'm placing a bike on it. In the rear you have that zip tie and in the front you have that large extended arm that's going to clamp down onto your tire. You can tilt the bike rack back to have access to the back of your vehicle. If you have a station wagon or if you have an SUV. So as you can see, putting your bikes on and taking your bikes off is a very easy process. With one hand, you can raise up and raise down the bike rack. A great feature that comes with this bike rack is the fact that it comes with a bike stand. You can use this in a variety of ways. I usually use this sometimes to wash and clean my bike. I use it to do maintenance on my chain, on my derailleur, and I also use it to put air in my tires. You're going to push the clamp in and then you're going to rotate. If you rotate too early, you're going to damage it and it's not going to work. So another way that I love using this bike rack is when you want to come back from a ride and you want to wash your bike, you can do it right on the bike rack itself. It's very easy. If anybody's wondering what kind of pressure washer I'm using and if it's safe, I'm using a Adams Polishes industrial grade pressure washer. It comes with adjustable settings and what I like to do for washing my bike is I like to bring the pressure all the way down to about 800 PSI. That's the minimum that it allows for and what it's going to do is it's going to allow more water water flow but it's not going to be very high pressure to where it could damage any parts on the bike. Now I just hit it with some regular dish soap with a foam cannon and at this point you really don't even need to do any hands-on scrubbing. I just clean my derailleur, my cassette and the chain and at that point you can just rinse the bike off and it makes everything very easy. What I love about this bike rack is that it allows you to do a lot of things. You can do maintenance on your bike, you can wash your bike, from beginning to end, the bike rack allows you to do many things. Whether you're at the trailhead and you need to adjust something, or when you leave, you need to clean up your bike, you don't have to worry about anything because the bike rack does it all.
All the parts that are stainless steel are all powder coated, which is very, very durable. I haven't had any issues with rust and anything that is not powder coated is made of aluminum. At this point guys, I'm just rinsing off the bike rack, making sure I clean and wipe it down, wiping down all the excess water, 